We've got discontinuities in genetics that puts limits on the amount of relatedness in the biological world. These genetic level continu uh, discontinuities separate humans from chimps. And there's no convergence, like you said. And we could even point to, they love fossils. You could even point to discontinuities in the fossil record where you have this big gap from Australopithecine-like ancestors, right? Afarensis, Afrika Africanus, uh, you know, Sediba, so on and so forth. Th there's a big gap between the Australopithecines and then Erectus. Morphologically, intelligence-wise, we have good data suggesting that Erectus was a sophisticated people group. They try to bridge that gap with an artificial species, Homo habilis. But I mean, you know, we've had Dr. Peter Line on. He gave a very comprehensive presentation showing why Habilis is basically a wastebasket taxon. It's a garbage bin of bones comprising both Australopithecus eight bones and, and human bones because that's their desperate attempt to bridge that gap. Without Habilis, there's too much of a gap from Australopithecines to Erectus. They need Habilis right there in the middle to bridge that gap.